Hey guys, this is Hassan from Talent Tech. Uh, today we're going to show you how to set up Jenkins from scratch and how to run your REST API automation test inside the Jenkins, also known as CDCI pipeline. Okay, so we're going to accomplish a couple of things in here how to uh, up and running Jenkins locally and then run your automation test uh, inside the Jenkins CDCI pipeline. Usually in the company, Jenkins is set up by DevOps team or any other senior developers. So you do not need to set up the Jenkins on your own. It will be there already for you. However, uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up the Jenkins from scratch, right? So I have my API is up and running. Uh, API is working, as you can see. Uh, if I want to make a Postman call, uh, like for example, like create something. Uh, it it will create a <clears throat> a new landlord using uh, giving me 201 so last video we showed you how to run this test suite in your local PC and generate uh, something called uh, extent uh, HTML extra report right uh, today we're going to do exactly the same thing but instead of running it locally we're going to run it via Jenkins CDCI pipeline. So we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did in the last time, but into the continuation pipeline. So first thing first, uh, go to the Jenkins IO. Uh, you can download the Jenkins. Uh, since I'm using the Mac, I'm going to get the Mac OS. You can also uh, <clears throat> you can also download uh, uh, the Jenkins via the brew. Since I'm using the latest Mac, which is M1 chip, it doesn't support the the the, the brew install uh, command. So I'm going to just download the WAR file straight up in my machine. So once I have that, I will go ahead and fire fire command, and then uh, start spinning up the Jenkins locally uh, in my Mac. So let's give a couple of seconds uh, to download these things. So let me go to downloads, CD, download, LS. So I do have uh, the Jenkins already downloaded, so I'm going to fire the command. All right, so usually if you fire like a command like Java, jar and the name of the file Jenkins or usually they take by default uh, port number 8080 right so I'm going to show you how to choose a different port instead of 8080 okay so you just put double hy uh, hyphen HTTP port and then I'm going to choose something like 9090 alright so Jenkins should install uh, and configure in my local PC so just give a couple of seconds. All right, so here when uh, Jenkins uh, is setting up, they give you kind of like a password for installation. So let's copy this password. And let's go to the Chrome. Uh, let's type localhost. 9090 since this is the port we used so right here and then paste your password that was given to you uh, while you were setting uh, installing the <coughs> Jenkins right so copy this just paste it here come to the uh, localhost 9090 the reason I'm going to 9090 because that's the port that I used when I, I wanted to spin up my Jenkins all right so let's continue uh, I would uh, choose this install suggest plugins uh, because that comes with and uh, that comes with uh, git because this is what we need uh, mostly the git is important uh, for our test to run because all our code is in github right so if you go to github.com all my codes in github so this is the framework that we're going to run into CDCI pipeline so let's give a couple of seconds uh, or minute, I would say, to get things uh, installed in, inside the Jenkins. Again, 
uh, this Jenkins setup, you never have to do it at your work uh, because the company usually hire DevOps or senior dev, they will set up this for you. So in organization, Jenkins setup is already pretty much done. All right, so uh, I'm going to create a username. Uh, tell tell and tech and the password. I just want to put password. Password. Tell and tech. And then I'm going to put our email address. Tell C at gmail.com. Save and continue. Uh, so this is the URL for the Jenkins. We already know that because uh, we are running it locally. So that's why it's a local host and the port is 9090. Save and finish. We start using the Jenkins. Simple, right? All right, so now uh, we're going to create a new project called Freestyle Project. And we're gonna name it called uh, Postman BDD APA Test, all right? You can name whatever you want to name, but uh, for now I'm just using Postman BDD API test. Uh, click OK. And then, uh, you know, you can put anything you want uh, in the description. This test contains REST API test suite. Uh, and then this is a GitHub project. If you want, you can put the GitHub URL in there. Okay. And then uh, where the source code is coming from. So technically we're saying that it's gonna come from Git. So you need to give the Git URL. So if you click on code, uh, they will give you some uh, URL in there, HTTP URL. So copy that code, uh, copy that path, bring, uh, come back to the uh, Jenkins, put your URL in there, and then you need to put the password in here. So I'm going to click on add, Jenkins and I'm going to put our password which is tell taxi and let me just put the password in there just a second all right click on add and choose the talent tag. Uh, now they already recognized my user ID and password. Make sure they are valid. All right, cool. So now you can choose which branch you want to uh, you want to trigger your test from, right? So right now everything is main. Uh, back in the days we used to call it master branch, but now it changed it to main. So in Jenkins it still says master, so you need to change it to main. Okay, and the command, um, how often you want to run your test, you can uh, set up a cron job, like I want every five minutes, uh, or I want, uh, if somebody push something like, you know, uh, then go ahead and uh, run my test. That's what we usually do. If developer comes in and push some code within the, in your repo, then uh, test automatically triggers. Uh, so we're not gonna do anything like that. So for now, we're just going to run our test. Uh, uh, using the shell command or Windows batch I think it works so was the command that we used last time uh, we can fire the same command okay so the command was uh, I think it's in here uh, open with notepad in the windows okay I have it in my readme file too I think okay so the command is uh, npm install newman okay so the full command is newman run uh, here we go newman run uh, the name of the collection localhost uh, which is your environment and then uh, the command to generate the report so let's copy this I'm going to copy this and come back to the Jenkins and then paste it here. So new man run and make sure the collection name is the same. So what's the name of the collections? 
API test suite actually. So right. So we need to make sure this is the name of the. Uh, make sure we have this in our command. So let's go back to uh, here and change the name. So API underscore test suite. API underscore test suite. Uh, dot json okay so come back here let's remove this test suite dot json and what's the name of the environment file that we want to run this test against in our local environment so a n v underscore local so we're gonna say hyphen e for environment so env local and it's also a json file so that's not a problem and then okay good so and then uh, we're going to generate a report for the report there is a command called html extra and then we can say apply or save uh, so our project is created if you go back to the dashboard we have one uh, project setup which is postman api ability so if you go back make sure you look at the configuration is good uh, most of the most important thing is the connecting the github right and then of course which branch you want to run it right and then the command that you want to run and then uh, you can set up a bunch of things like for example like you know if the test fails how to uh, uh, email uh, set up the email notification there is an option for also a slack i'm going to show up uh, show this in uh, in the next video all right, so let's go ahead and run this test in CDCA pipeline. So it's going to run uh, in your, uh, not in your local PC, but it's going to run in the CDCA pipeline. Since we set up the Jenkins locally, so of course behind the scene, it's actually running in your local PC. So let's go ahead and click the run. Once you click the run, uh, the new build has been started. So you can click on it. You can look at the console, see what it says. Uh, it's telling me that something it's not working cannot run cmd in directory user tell tech uh, all right so then uh, let's see let's go back to the config uh, let's name and run api test suite so let's copy this maybe uh, we can use shell command okay since it's a uh, supported in Mac and Windows so let's apply this save it and then let's go ahead and run it again click on run and now it's running let's look at the build number two see what's the status on this all right so it seems like it passed like as you see the first one failed the second one is blue that means it passed so if I go back here if I look at the console dot out uh, and then uh, it, uh, it actually ran, you know, and all the tests is passing. Uh, if you look at, uh, go to the workspace, you can see all the reports. So technically uh, this workspace right now is pointing to my local PC in the real life scenario. It's going to be run in somebody else's machine. It could be AWS or it could be Azure. It could be Digital Oceans, any of whatever the company are using as a cloud computer. Is going to be there so you can go ahead and look at the reports you see right here so first time it failed second time it worked so you can download this whole thing uh, into a zip file and then look at the report as well uh, but the goal is to run and if I can download the whole the zip file and then I can show it to you that it ran successfully in the as you can see like uh, today at 8 57 p.m. Uh, a.m it ran inside the cloud machine and all the test is passing okay so the summary is once you have your test uh, entire test suite in your uh, github or any other uh, online repo the the company use make sure that is connected to your jenkins and then go inside the jenkins make sure you configure it correctly so for example this is important make sure uh, Jenkins know how to talk to uh, 
the GitHub because what the Jenkins is going to do is that they're going to, once the connection is good, they're going to clone that project into that cloud machine and go to the main branch and run your test based on the command that you provided in here and generate the report for you, okay? Thank you for watching and, and good luck.